Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and on today's menu we have garlic parmesan pork chops and oven roasted red potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. Anyway, you are. That's what's on the menu today. Something nice and elegant. It's a quick, easy meal. Looks like you've been in the kitchen all day cooking it, but I haven't. So, uh, yes, make sure you guys, I will try to remember to leave a link in the description box, the meal prep. Uh, for this video for this meal. I'll try to leave that video um, in the description box guys my whole meal prep for this uh, particular meal. So Let's get into it All right, we have our garlic parmesan pork chops Let me give you guys a nice close-up look at that garlic parmesan pork chops. Oh my god. They look amazing Look at all the seasoning so make sure you guys go and watch that meal prep video. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees uh, for this particular meal. Let's go ahead and get our pork chop pan up nicely. And I did, as you guys can see, my pan is shiny. I did add a little oil to my pan and spread it around to help our pork chop cook and get all nice and brown and toasty. You guys will see how this is gonna come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these pork chops on here. Get them all laid. Got a lot of pork chops. I hope I can fit all of them on this Gotham pan. I am using my Gotham pan because we all know Gotham gets really, really hot. And that's what I wanna use to roast these pork chops. So, I'm gonna flip that over. Cause we're gonna need all this pork chop to fit, so gonna be a tight squeeze I really hope I can fit all this pork chop in here I'm gonna shrink anyway so and these uh, pork chops have been marinating for two days two days no maybe I should put the pork chops in a different way we'll see I gotta fit it all in here now a lot of pork chop in here Mm, 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 mm. Mm. The pork chops smells amazing. Smells so good. Smells all garlicky and ugh. All right, let's see. Trying to squeeze all this in here. Definitely gonna have to pay, play jigsaw puzzle with it. How many pieces I got in here? Oh, I got three more pieces. All right, we gotta get them in here somehow. Okay, three more pieces. Gotta squeeze them in here. Mm, let's see what we gotta do. I got two more pieces. Let's squeeze them in here. squeeze one more piece in here one more piece let me make sure I get all my garlic parmesan out my bowl make sure you get all your groceries all right okay I'm gonna squeeze this one in here some kind of way okay oh okay all right that's good okay Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay, twelve pieces. All right. Okay, so y'all see we've got our pork chops all nicely lined up on our pan. I'm telling you, it's something about letting your meat marinate and soaking all that goodness. Y'all gotta see that meal prep video. I mean, it was a masterpiece how I prepped these uh, pork chops, these Parmesan pork chops. Y'all gotta go see that meal prep video. These pork chops are gonna taste amazing. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get these um, pork chops in the oven, 375 degrees. I'm thinking about an hour, 30 minutes, flip. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna flip them. I'm not gonna flip them. 
Nah, I'm not gonna flip them. I think about an hour total, I think. I'm gonna see. Of course, I'll let y'all know how long it took, so. Probably about an hour. Cause I want them to get all roasted and brown. And then I'm gonna throw that broil across the top so they get that nice brown coat. Y'all let's see, I know y'all hungry, I know. Cause I'm getting hungry. All right, so let me get these pork chops in the oven and then I'll be back so we can do those red potatoes. Okay guys, I'm back with the potatoes. Uh, as you guys can see, I've got some Publix red potatoes all nice and cleaned up. I am going to keep the skin on for this particular recipe. Uh, you guys will see. I love the whole red potato look with these garlic parmesan potatoes. It's going to look really good together on a plate. Um, let me move my bowl over. So I've got my other bowl here. I'm going to slice these potatoes. And then, of course, I'm going to put them in this big bowl. You guys will see. So let me get my potatoes cut up. And I did choose this particular knife like the bread cutting knife but I chose it so that um, I can have the little designs on the potatoes you guys will see and I'm cutting my potatoes a certain way let me show you guys how thick I'm slicing them I'm slicing them this thick not too thick but thick enough and I'm gonna slice them round just like this that's how I'm cutting them got my end pieces I'm not throwing my end pieces away Y'all know, ain't nobody got time to be throwing no groceries away. So, we will be eating the end pieces. I just wanted to come and show you guys how I'm slicing them. I believe slice that a little better. I think I might switch to it because this knife isn't cutting like I wanted to. Hold on, y'all. Because right. I want my potatoes sliced a certain way. See, I want them all sliced like this. So, all right, but we'll throw those in there. Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Alright, so y'all see. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Alright. Anyway, you all, after that cough episode, my throat gets real dry. <clears throat> and it's early in the morning, so. Alright, that's how we cutting them up. Let me do another one with y'all. Yeah, this knife is much better. I don't want them thin. <clears throat> Let me show y'all. This is the size I want them to be. I'll do some like a little thick and I'll just kind of do some a little smaller. You know, kind of thick, a little smaller. And then this way I can just cut that end part off like that. But yeah. That's how I'm slicing them up. I want to show y'all what I'm going to do once I get these all sliced up. Slice your potatoes how you want to slice your potatoes. You know? I don't tell people how to do their stuff. Because don't come tell me how to do my stuff. People pay for their groceries. You can't tell people how to do their stuff when they pay for their stuff. Y'all know what I mean. Don't be telling people what to do with their stuff. So, I leave people alone. Hey, you do what you want to do. It's your money. You pay for it. It's your business. But, all right. I'm going to cut this one. I'm not going to sit here and have y'all watch me slice all these potatoes. But after I get through slicing this one, I'm going to let you guys know what I'm going to do once I get all the potatoes sliced up. Okay. 
Okay. All right. All nicely sliced. It's gonna look so good with that grilled, um, oven roasted grilled parmesan pork chop you know once it gets all nice and brown and then you're gonna have these nice roasted red potatoes right next to it oh i can't wait to show y'all gonna be beautiful okay so i'm gonna move this over because i'll finish slicing those later i just want to show y'all what i'm gonna do so once i get my bowl filled with the potatoes as you guys can see i'm gonna put a little oil using crisco oil uh pure canola oil I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of oil in here. Just drop a little oil in there. Just enough to coat, like one tablespoon. Just enough to coat them. And then I'm going to use the Morton Season All. It's going to be like seasoned potatoes, you know. Y'all will see how I pan them up. And I just pour a little bit of that in there. Well, you know, enough to cover the potatoes. All right, and then I'll just I'll just mix it around like that so that oil and season gets all over the potatoes. They smell so good. Whoa, man down, we lost the potato. But anyway, okay. So I'm just gonna toss it around like that. And you guys can see it'll be all nice and oily and seasoned and all that. Let me give y'all a close look of what it's gonna look like when I get through. Ooh, I'm gonna roast that in the oven. <gasps> oh, that's gonna be so good. So, all right, let me finish here. Let me finish this. Um, I'll come back and show you guys how I'm gonna pan these up. Okay, guys, I'm back. And of course, for nice oven roasted potato, I had to pull out the old school pan. Oh yeah, old school pan. Y'all know what that means. That means this pan has done so much cooking that it's all the, the color, everything all ugly, but that's all right. It's gonna roast those potatoes just fine. Had to pull out the old school potato pan. So, all right, so I got a nice little layer of, uh, I just put a little drop of oil and I spread it around. Like I showed you guys I did with the meat. So that's gonna help those potatoes get all nice and brown and toasted and roasted in the oven. I'm telling y'all, this is gonna be so good. So let me show y'all the potatoes, all nicely cut up. I showed y'all how I did it. Let's go ahead and get these potatoes out. All out. All our seasoning on there. Let me move this bowl out of the way. Okay. We're gonna get our potatoes spread it out. Okay. Take a minute, but just spread your potatoes out evenly. Yeah, these gonna it's you know what? It's gonna be like like French fries, you know. Hello, they're made from potatoes. I don't know if they on DDs I the whole potatoes, y'all, but whatever, they public potatoes. They they should be alright. All right, let's get our potatoes all spread it out here. Okay, okay, see what we got. They all piled up. Okay, let's get them all spread it out. Oven roasted potatoes. We gotta get them from piled on top of each other here. That's a thick one right there, okay. I did some kind of thin, some kind of thick, you know. Just, you know, did it different so it can be different. So, all right, let's get these potatoes spread it around so everybody can get all roasted. We don't want none sitting on top of each other, like, not too bad. All right, let's move this smaller one. I'm gonna put the bigger ones on top, kind of lean some up. All right, they look good for the most part. Set some like this on our sides. You know, just kind of play around with them. I mean, you know, of course, if you have a bigger pan. I mean, I have a bigger pan, but I think this is big enough. This is big enough. I got some really big potatoes. I just did them all different sizes. Some thinner ones, some smaller ones, some thick ones. Kind of put some potatoes over here on my side here. Because we really don't want any like sitting on top of each other. So put like the thinner ones on the side here. That 
works out just fine, just like that. Mm-hmm. Side of my pen. Okay. I'll see, I'm just kind of playing around with it. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, potatoes, okay. All right, okay. Looks good to me. So, we got our potatoes all panned up. Don't they look so good? Now, I'm gonna sprinkle. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. All right, now, <clears throat> I am gonna do another little thin layer of our seasoning. That's my Morton seasoning. I'm telling y'all, this is really good. Like if you wanna cook plain fries and you put some of this season on it, it gives you that whole, um, checkered fries, seasoned fries kind of taste. I'm just going to put a another little thin layer across the top. Alright, I'm going to do it for about 30 minutes in the oven. Uh, 30 minutes and then I'm just going to flop them around to the other side, you know, for another 30 minutes. Just like the uh, pork chop. So, let me go ahead and get these in the oven and when I come back, y'all, it's going to be the grand finale. Okay guys, and we're here for the grand finale. Ooh, that's hot. Don't know why I did that. Okay, so let's get into our garlic parmesan potatoes. Let's get into those for you guys. Nice, roasted. Ooh, y'all see the goodness. Oh yeah, let me take y'all across those garlic parmesan pork chops. Don't they look delicious? Yes, and over here to our oven roasted potatoes, potatoes, however you want to say it. Yes, yes, yes. Give it to them, girl. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Take y'all back in those potatoes. They taste so good. Yes, I had some. Mm hmm. Yep, a couple of pieces missing there. But all right, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go in the description box. Click on that link to my spiritual journey channel over there. Make sure you guys go over there and show me some love and support as well. Uh, follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. That's Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. All right, guys. Bye.